16 years ago, my wife dragged me off to an art quilt show. When she said she wanted to go see this fantastic things being created, I said, oh yeah, sure. The quilt? I mean, come on now, you know. And it was the beginning of a new, whole new world for me. And where I used to draw all the time and paint all the time, is I now almost exclusively work with fabric and create these, what many people call these fiber paintings. But it is really very much art quilts. I go by Bob, Bob Leathers. Simultaneously, I am a fiber artist and an architect. Generally speaking, I'm inspired by something that I see. It could be nature or it could be architecture, but it's frankly most frequently nature. And then I will start doing sketches and scribbles about what, what I'm thinking about that piece. And then I will take that to a larger form onto the design wall, and I will take some images that might be photographs. A lot of the stuff I'm doing right now is photo transfer, which I then draw and paint over. I may at that, at that point incorporate hand-dyed fabric, and I will draw a concept of what it is about. Uh, what am I trying to express? What am I saying about that piece of nature? From there, I will take it to the sewing machine. And on the sewing machine, what I will do is kind of almost lay out the basic pattern, but without any of the detail. And then it's the thread that brings it alive. I started with just putting together squares of fabric, I did log cabins, learned how those happened, learned the techniques, learned all that. And then there was a quantum leap where I redefined what I was going to do. I discovered the sewing machine as something I could draw with. I'm surrounded with thread, and I'm surrounded with every color you can imagine. I still go back to very tertiary colors they're called, somber colors, colors that are more in nature. It almost always is some physical environment that I'm in that I'm intrigued and inspired by. Pieces that show history and time, an old log that's rotting away, rocks that have molded over 50,000 years, these amazing patterns in the sand, constantly shifting, always changing. That's what inspires me. When I was a kid, I slept under my grandmother's quilts, literally. I mean, there's a certain warmth, there's a certain intimacy to quilts. In making the decision of what I'm going to do, it's never really a conscious decision. It's more like it comes to me and it's like something I can't deny. There's a story buried within that. The relationship and integration of nature and architecture, and many times the clashes and abuse of nature by architecture. But the story is an ambivalent one. It's really about that uh, multiple interpretations that a viewer might have. Each piece that I do is about communication with a viewer. I purposely have an ambivalence built into it so that in fact the viewer discovers for themselves what it's all about and what it means and if you involve them and immerse them in it, you're more likely to have a more powerful communication. Be intrigued. And if they are intrigued, they look a second time, a third time, and discover things. It's almost like you're creating a puzzle for them, one for them to figure out, but you never know how they're going to figure out what it's going to mean to them. Art is about discovery. And so many people, there's a aha factor, the wow factor. Wow, that kind of reaction is the one I like most.